Today on Fresno State Focus, we'll talk about a charity on campus that's a little different. Hola, buenas tardes. Bienvenidos a Fresno State Focus. Yo soy Josie Raya. Speaking of cold weather, downtown Fresno has opened its outdoor ice rink. Food insecurity is more common on college campuses than many like to believe. Next week on Fresno State Focus, meet a woman who is helping the homeless have a better holiday. Well, you may not need the services now. You may in the future, or somebody else may need them. And you can be the one to help them find what they need. Josie Raya, Fresno State Focus. Se reúnen cada dos meses. La comunidad está bienvenida a expresar sus opiniones y preocupaciones. Usted puede ir a la página fresnocog.org para más detalles. La inseguridad alimentaria es más frecuente en los campus universitarios. Gracias por acompañarnos y que pasen buenas tardes. Also, we'll visit the ice rink. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. A special edition coming up in Spanish. Handing out needles on the streets sounds dangerous and illegal, but it's actually not. The Fresno Needle Exchange Program is allowed under the California law. The goal is to get dirty needles off the streets along with the diseases they carry. This means that under California law, people who use the program will not be fined for having needles as long as they have a doctor's prescription saying they are allowed to have them. Director Dallas Blanchard says the program is helping clean up the streets. Uh, the purpose of which being to uh, stop the spread of HIV and hepatitis C and abscesses that you get from sharing needles. Um, it also takes dirty needles off the streets uh, because if we weren't around, once their syringes are no longer usable because the needles messed up, the plungers messed up, or whatever, they discard them. Uh, Several Fresno State students volunteer for the program. Many say they do it because they know the program is worthwhile. So like for me, getting to see the impact that that makes. Also, I work in the ER, so seeing the people who are able to receive treatment here and aren't waiting 12 hours in the ER and maybe interfering with others' care. Many people are against this program simply because they're uninformed or they're not open to the idea that this program is useful at all. Over the years, this program has been getting negative feedback from the oh, no, well, doctor, doctor People who are part of this program have learned yeah. to stick to the rules to avoid giving law enforcement a reason to stop them. Drugs were enabling them to continue um, their negative uh, consequences of drug use. Um, to which I would say we're enabling people to survive another day until they decide to quit using drugs. While this program may continue to run as it has for the last several years, one thing is for sure, different viewpoints are inevitable. Josie Raya, Fresno State Focus.